Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Monday, May 22nd, 2023. Let's take a look at the Forex calendar for today. Very quick glance of the Forex calendar is showing us that there is uh, almost no important data uh, from the major um, uh, countries. We got some uh, data, of course, from China. Uh, uh, People Bank of China loan prime rate is still at the same level of 3.65% uh, during the uh, New York session. We got the data from the Brazil. We got speech from the FOMC member Bullard. Uh, then we got the interest rate uh, decision in Israel. And at the end of the day, another comment from the FOMC member Bostic. Uh, so there is no um, important uh, data release neither from any country of the Europe, neither any country of the Australia, uh, New Zealand, or uh, there is almost no news uh, from the Canada and the USA. So it seems to be like a quiet a Monday, quiet beginning of the new uh, trading week. Let's start um, uh, our uh, technical part. What we are going to do now is, of course, the technical analysis of the majors, and we are going to start with Euro dollar. Euro dollar four hour chart is still looking very bearish. However, we recently um, got the bounce from the extremely oversold market conditions on the uh, four hour chart. This level, as you can see, um, was the level of 1.0761. That's the intraday uh, technical uh, support. Where is the resistance then? Then the resistance is located slightly higher, 1.0840. Uh, six, so it's almost um, like a 100 pips, so 80 something. Right now, for the bulls, uh, they have this range for the bounce. Uh, le let me just take a look. What is the um, other uh, moving average? Uh, we got the cross around 1.1 one thousand and then of course the moving averages are uh, moving away from each other. So right now, market is trading below each of them. Uh, the key technical resistance, uh, um, let me just change the line, uh, is located at the level of 1.0910. So that's the key uh, technical resistance for bulls if they want to rally, of course. So there you go, big red thick line here. And uh, technical support is a little bit uh, lower. Uh, if we uh, zoom out, then we can see that the next important technical support is around uh, the level of 1.0714 and a little bit higher, almost there, 1.0760. So uh, this zone here is a very important for bulls because they need to defend it in order to uh, since a kind of a uh, action uh, to the upside, maybe even some sort of uh, more uh, dynamic and aggressive uh, pullback or correction. Uh, so this zone uh, cannot be violated. Let me just put a rectangle here. A green rectangle would do the job. Uh, let's see what do we have here. A blue one, and it's not that uh, that good. Nevertheless, let's just change the color and see. Uh, for 100% that this uh, this zone cannot be, of course, uh, violated. So this is the situation here with the green uh, green rectangle and the uh, um, this is the demand zone for the uh, bulls. Let me just do the screenshot and we are ready to switch to the British pound. The British pound for our chart, there you go, British pound for our chart, a little bit different situation here because this movement here starts to look like uh, ending diagonal um, or maybe someone will call it rising, uh, sorry, falling wedge. So let me just uh, show you guys what do I mean. That's the first line. And if we uh, if we set another line here, you can see that they are doing something like like this it might be a false call because there is it, it doesn't look like a textbook example uh, just yet nevertheless this up move down move up move and down move looks very much uh, like uh, some sort of the pattern coming um, um your way and uh, it's still progressing it's still 
it's still looking like an unfinished one. Where is the technical support? The technical support on the British pound is located at 1.2234. So this is the major technical uh, support located here. Of course, we have a bunch of the supports a little bit higher, 1.2352 and of course, 1.2352. Uh, 3366 so again we got this zone uh, we got this zone here we can put our um we can put our rectangle uh, back on the uh, on the chart this time this, this this is the zone for the uh, uh for the bulls uh, again but a little bit uh, a little bit lower oh there you go this is what i mean okay so that's exactly what we need here um uh, Technical resistance, of course, the technical, the main technical resistance, uh, the the big one here is located at uh, the level of 1.2678. So that's the big one, um, and that's of course the swing uh, high. Since then, market drops down, maybe doing some kind of a uh, falling uh, wedge, maybe um, uh, some kind of a other pattern is uh, in progress. Nevertheless, very characteristic move here from the extremely oversold market conditions to the level of 50, again, 50, again, and now again, it's 50. So bulls do not have a s enough strength to move to pass uh, the level of 50 on the RSI, which means all of these movements are corrective in, in nature. So we should expect uh, this movement to stay uh, limited, uh, limited range, limited uh, price range, of course, and time range as well. They shouldn't be uh, that long. And once they are finished, uh, if there is no uh, uh, pattern in, in progress here, the market should break, unfortunately, below our, our um, demand zone here, the green rectangle, and make another lower low so that's the situation of the british pound to american dollar let me just take a screenshot there you go we go to another one the another one will be uh the market of us dollar to the japanese yen why mostly because we got another swing high on this market first let me just zoom out uh, so you can see the perspective here very important technical resistance had been uh, recently violated this resistance was located at the level of uh, 137.85 and uh, now frankly uh, it looks like a breakout valid breakout but the market is um, definitely uh, testing this level from above so right now let me just uh, let me just zoom in here a little bit uh, the recent um, a recent high made here was at 138.76 since then we got the test of this um, technical uh, support we got uh, a little bit of the uh, uh, a lower low made a little bit uh, basically uh, lower below this uh, technical support it's still red let me just uh, uh, leave this color for now at least for now uh, because it still with that kind of a uh, breaking to the downside it doesn't actually looks very very solid nevertheless uh, the momentum was extremely overbought mm during this um, uh, technical resistance uh, breakout uh, and then uh, the momentum of course during the pullback went towards the level of 54 so almost hitting the level of 50 the neutral level uh, since then of course we are consolidating around this uh, this very very narrow zone but the outlook remains bullish the outlook remains bullish as long as this level here is not clearly violated the bulls still have the uh, power to uh, to um, to go higher there is still a room for the bulls to go higher so 135.53 is the lever that should not be uh, violated if the market wants to go higher and continue towards the level of 140. that's everything for me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys next time so take care and bye bye